Hello students, good time to all, I am Chandan Kumar Pradhan, welcome to the channel Chandan Physics. In this video, we are going to discuss superposition of two waves, phase velocity, group velocity and wave packet. Let's begin. From de Broglie hypothesis, we conclude that a material particle has the velocity which is faster than the speed of light that is the velocity is equal to c square by v whereas v of p is the wave velocity velocity of that de Broglie wave or we call it as velocity of de Broglie wave or again we call it as matter wave. and v velocity of particle velocity of particle according to de Broglie hypothesis when we consider a moving particle so a wave is associated with that moving particle this is particle and wave is associated with that of moving particle which is called matter wave or de Broglie wave. So, the velocity of such matter wave or de Broglie wave is equal to c square by v. From that expression it is clear that the speed of such material particle has faster velocity than that of light actually it is not possible no particle move faster than the speed of light or we can say particle is there or uh, wave uh, that travels faster it is not possible since wave is associated with that of particle. So, it contradicts to the hypothesis proposed by de Broglie. We can say that is the failure of de Broglie hypothesis why later on in experiment Davinson and Jormer confirms that particle has wave character. So, that uh, hypothesis is uh, valid but we can say that is insufficient. Here it is not possible as any particle move faster than the speed of light. So, we can say de Broglie hypothesis is not complete. de Broglie hypothesis is not complete. Therefore, to overcome that difficulty, the scientist Schrodinger postulated that a moving particle is not associated with one wave, but 
it is associated with a group of waves and that group of waves we called wave packet. As de Broglie proposed, every moving particle is associated with a single wave. By taking that hypothesis, he proposed what be the wavelength of such wave and the velocity of such wave. But he can't explain how its uh, speed is equal to the speed of that particle. Therefore, another scientist Schrodinger just changed his postulate and uh, say a moving particle is not associated with a single wave but it is a group of waves which is called wave packet. Let me showcase it. If that is a wave, again it is another wave. When these two waves are superimposed with each other. we obtain a group of waves which is called the wave packet. That is the envelope. And this is called the wave packet. These are the wave packet. What is phase velocity? The velocity of individual de Broglie wave is called phase velocity. It is more than the velocity of light. The velocity of individual de Broglie wave is called phase velocity. What is this? In that of particle, it is associated with a wave which is called matter wave or de Broglie wave. Since it is wave, so it has a velocity and that velocity is called phase velocity. In technically, we call it as phase velocity. Then what is group velocity? The velocity of group of waves the velocity of group of waves, group of waves we call it as wave packet, it is called group velocity. And uh, the velocity of uh, such uh, group velocity is equal to that uh, particle velocity. Later on we mathematically show it. According to Schrodinger, a moving particle is not associated with the single wave, it is uh, a combination of group of waves which is called wave packet that is wave packet and the velocity possessed by this group of waves we call group velocity that is v of g. So, in that of figure how we calculate the phase velocity and group velocity here we consider two waves these two waves are uh, superimposed with each other and uh, form a wave packet which is uh, a group of waves in that of wave let we prefer what be the phase velocity. Phase velocity, if we consider that wave packet, this is a wave packet, this is a wave packet. In that of wave packet, it has high amplitude. So, when that the wave moments under uh, these two are superimposed. So, the speed of such wave we call it as group velocity that is the sorry 
phase velocity. In that of wave packet, these two are called the node and the motion of such node or the velocity at which that uh, node proceeds that is called the group velocity. The velocity of such node we have the group velocity idea of group velocity. Let us come to the mathematical part how mathematically we show group velocity, phase velocity and uh, the idea proposed by Schrodinger how overcome that incomplete in case of de Broglie hypothesis. Let me consider two waves. These two waves superimpose with each other to form a wave packet as in that of figure we showcase. One of such wave y 1 is equal to a cos omega t minus cos x sorry a cos omega t minus k x this is the form of that wave whereas a with the amplitude omega angular frequency k propagation constant or we can say that is the wave number. Another wave y 2 is equal to case omega plus d omega in that of uh, second wave there will be change in omega and uh, change in that k change in omega that is omega plus d omega change in k k plus d k as uh, d omega differing in that of angular frequency d k difference in between the propagation constant. Now these two waves are superimposed with each other according to principle of superposition the resultant uh, wave y is equal to y 1 plus y 2. So, y is equal to the value of y 1 plus the value of y 2. Here we use the trigonometric identity let uh, cos a cos alpha plus cos beta which is equal to 2 cos alpha plus beta by 2 cos alpha minus beta by 2. So, that uh, identity is used here cos a plus cos cos alpha cos beta a as common. So, 2 a cos alpha plus beta by 2 alpha minus beta by 2. We write it by rearranging the terms. Therefore, y is equal to 2 a cos here omega plus d omega by 2 t k plus d k by 2 x as 2 to cancel out cos that one. Another uh, form we use cos of minus theta as we know cos theta cos of minus theta is cos theta is it here. These two waves now superimpose with each other to form a wave since d omega and d k are very small quant quantities when we compare with omega and k when we compare omega with d omega and k with d k. So, these two are very small quantities in that of uh, term omega plus d omega by 2 we neglecting we just simply write omega and in plus in place of uh, k plus d k by 2 we simply write k. Now, that equation 3 becomes y is equal to 2 a cos omega t minus k x into cos d omega by 2 t minus d k by 2 x. Here, 2 a cos d omega by 2 t minus d k by 2 x this is the amplitude of resultant wave and the, the resultant uh, wave displacement y is given by that equation. 
look here r be the resultant and that r is equal to 2a cos d omega by 2 t minus d k by 2 x if that wave having uh, the angular uh, frequency omega and uh, propagation constant k within this if that is say wave and it has uh, the angular uh, frequency omega and uh, the propagation constant k within this there will be the amplitude and that amplitude given as r here the wave consisting of the angular uh, frequency d omega by 2 and the propagation constant dk by 2 in figure it can be easily shown one wave another wave superimposed to form wave packet this is the wave next come to mathematical analysis how phase velocity group velocity as well as particle velocity are interrelated the phase velocity the phase velocity is given by it is v of p what is phase velocity that is the de Bruegel velocity de Bruegel wave velocity or matter wave velocity that is the phase velocity simply how it is relate that the frequency into wavelength nu be the frequency whereas lambda be the wavelength the phase velocity or let I multiply 2 pi and divide 2 pi there will be no change or 2 pi nu and that's 2 pi by lambda any change no change Since 2 pi by nu angular frequency is equal to 2 pi nu and this is uh, the wave number k is equal to 2 pi by lambda that is angular frequency this is the wave number or propagation constant. Now simply we write v of p is equal to omega by k omega by k at equation number 5 then group velocity is given by that is v of g look here we obtain that phase velocity as omega by k look here that uh, equation in that of equation that part suggests the group velocity this is uh, omega divided by k omega is the coefficient of t and k is the coefficient of x show the in place of group velocity again in that term we write the coefficient of uh, t to that of coefficient of x in that of expression which indicating the group velocity so v of g is equal to 
and this d omega by 2 d omega by 2 divided by the coefficient of that x d k by 2 this uh, d k by 2 therefore the expression for group velocity is equal to d omega divided by d k this is the group velocity and equation number 6 now now as we take uh, omega is equal to 2 pi nu from energy relation e is equal to h nu as energy is quantized from that expression the value of nu is put here therefore omega is equal to 2 pi e by h e by h therefore d omega is equal to constant term 2 pi by h d e let uh, equation number a again the expression for k as 2 pi lambda from de Broglie hypothesis lambda is equal to h by p so k is equal to 2 pi divided by h by p or k is equal to 2 pi p divided by h now its differentiation dk is equal to constant term 2 pi by h dp let equation number b by putting the value of a and b by putting the value of a and b in equation number 1 sorry in equation number 6 we get the group velocity v of g is equal to that is uh, d omega dk in place of d omega we substitute 2 pi by h de divided by in place of dk that is 2 pi by s into dp therefore we obtain de divided by dp group velocity is equal to d omega dk de dp equation number 7 we know that E is equal to half mv square if the particle have mass m and it moves with a velocity b so its kinetic energy e is equal to half mv square or E is equal to p square by 2m how half m square v square then m no change half m v whole square divided by m what is the value of m v that is the p that is p square divided by m therefore v of g is equal to d by dp in place of e that is half p square by m or v of g is equal to 1 by 2 m this is 2 p or v of g is equal to 1 by 2 m to 
in place of p mass into velocity 1m 1m cancel out 2 2 cancel out finally v of g is equal to v from this equation from this equation it is clear that by taking wave packet concept packet concept the group velocity is equal to the particle velocity so the incompleteness of de broglie hypothesis is completed it is clear that by taking the wave packet concept the group velocity is equal to the particle velocity which is the incomplete in case of de broglie hypothesis now that the incompleteness is completed by taking the wave packet concept means the moving particle is associated with a group of waves which is called wave packet not a single wave so here with the help of this bit well lecture we understand the concept of superposition of two waves idea of phase velocity group velocity and wave packet wave packet phase velocity group velocity mathematically we show the superposition of uh, two waves relation between uh, phase velocity group velocity uh, that uh, group velocity is related to that of particle velocity and a complete idea of wave packet so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up the session thank you